The winter weather threat tonight. We have crews all over central Texas, starting with our Sarah Alshe. She is in Dripping Springs where it's 28 degrees. Sarah, how are things over there? Yeah, David, ice is on nearly everything out here. You can see this tree is completely coated in it, and this is essentially what all of Dripping Springs is looking like right now. But thankfully, the roads are really clear. I'm not seeing really any cars passing through, maybe one or two um, every so minutes. But first responders want to keep it this way because they are scared for what's to come overnight into tomorrow. I see grass, trees, power lines, and roads. That's the situation in parts of Hayes County, like Dripping Springs. We're in the hill country, so different elevations, so, you know, different, the roads will freeze at different points along the route. The city's emergency management coordinator, Roman Balagad, says Texton has been treating roads with sand all day and won't stop anytime soon. The roads out here are windy, so, you know, you come across blind corners. Even though you're not going as fast as the normal speed limit is, you know, you can still lose control of your vehicle. But even with sand, North Hayes EMS tells KXAN they've responded to accidents on the roads and on people's porches. One man sending us a video of his fall while checking the weather outside. The city says luckily a majority of drivers have stayed off the roads. But for some like Travis Fitzpatrick, that wasn't possible, having to come in for work. The ice has been building up and building up and building up, and I've been watching out there, and things are actually starting to freeze a little bit more and a little bit more as we go through the afternoon. And with conditions expected to get worse overnight, many in the hill country are bracing for what's to come. I'm expecting it to be severely frozen over in the morning. I would caution drivers tomorrow again, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit worse than what it was today. So even though you were able to get to work or wherever you need to go, uh, tomorrow may not be the same situation. Now we have seen some ice on power lines throughout the city out here, but thankfully there has not been any reported power outages just yet. And the city says it's going to work closely with the electric company out here to monitor those conditions. David. Well, Sarah, with more icing expected tomorrow morning, how is EMS preparing for this? Yeah, EMS tells me they have a propane tank filled, ready to go if there are any power outages tomorrow and they're not able to go fill up at a gas station. They say they also have a generator ready as well for any power outages as they prepare for whatever is to come tomorrow. Jennifer, Daniel. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. And with storms like this, one of the main concerns is the lingering ice and its impact on power lines. Ice can be very heavy and it can cause lines to sag or even snap. And we took a closer look at how a little ice can build up and how it can make a big impact. Half an inch of ice can add 500 pounds of weight to a power line. According to the Omaha Public Power District, that much ice can cause a 920 foot long transmission line to sag four feet lower than normal. Make that three fourths of an inch of ice and the line can sag six feet. A full inch can cause it to sag nine feet and a little more than that can bring it down almost 12 feet.